news this afternoon. Same, Salem police say a four alarm fire at St. Joseph Catholic Church is arson. Police arrested 48 year old Billy Sweeten on first degree arson charges. He's now at the Marion County Jail. Police have not yet released a motive. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us on this Thursday. I'm Deborah Knapp. And I'm Barry Mangold. That's fi that fire started around 2.30 this morning on reports of a dumpster fire. Police say the Salem Felony Crimes Unit responded to the scene due to the suspicious circumstances of the fire. K2 Savannah Welsh was there as crews worked to get it under control. The fire may be out, but rebuilding is just starting for members of St. Joseph's Catholic Church here in Salem as they work to pick up the pieces from this morning's fire. Early Thursday morning, flames burning through the roof of St. Joseph's Parish just blocks away from the Oregon Capitol. So I got a phone call about 3 o'clock saying the dumpster's on fire, and I said, okay, put it out and then it escalated from there. Salem and Marion County Fire got the call around 2.30 in the morning. More than 20 units and 45 firefighters worked to put out the flames. By 7 a.m., the fire was under control. But this was the damage to the sanctuary, which is 70 years old this year. Salem Fire says it was too dangerous to go inside, so fire crews fought the fire defensively from the outside. We did a really good job of stopping the fire, keeping it at the sanctuary and not spreading. This building is connected to a lot of other buildings around the actual sanctuary. And at this point, we can tell, we can see that there is no other fire outside of the sanctuaries. No one was injured. Father Musen says mass will continue as scheduled in the gym this Sunday. But I also know that, you know, the people are pretty resilient. And the sad I am for this, uh, the church isn't just a building, it's a people and uh, we'll, we'll rebuild and we'll be okay. And say that was Savannah Welsh reporting. K2 will continue to dig into this investigation as it develops when we'll work to ha have more information when the suspect makes his first court appearance and the ongoing recovery and repair at the church.